with uh, Charter Limited Canada and Alberta Environment and Parks and a crew of hardworking volunteers and we're electrofishing. Hay is a Hub 10 watershed so we've got 15 electrofishing sites. And we're sampling 300 meters of the Tay River to see what fish species are living here right now and we're hoping to see some bull trout. And uh, this, this project in the Tay River is, is one of a few different projects going on in the Rocky Mountain House area. So we've been uh, doing some reclamation work on Rocky Creek and Fall Creek as well in the Clearwater and Ram River drainages. And uh, this summer we've uh, sampled uh, I think 60 or 75 sites within those watersheds. Again, monitoring fish populations, seeing if bull trout will respond to our, our reclamation efforts. We got to follow along and scoop the fish up and then we dumped them into a bucket and we got to see what we caught. So I followed the netters and then they just turned around and we put the, net, the fish in the bucket. And then once uh, we had a number of fish in the bucket, then they'll take them to the station for uh, evaluation. Well, we got some white fish, a couple brown trout, sculpin, long nosed dace, and a little nymph of sorts there. Yeah, there's some sort of nymph. A little brookie and a little brown out of the Tay River. Electroshocking sample. Looking at these, what are the difference between these two fish? Spots. Okay, well they both have red spots with blue halos. Which one's the brown? This one's brown. Yeah. Okay, so what else is different about these two? Uh, there's no black on the fins on the brown. Uh, sorry, no, he doesn't. Oh, oh, you sorry, mean on, on the, 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 side on the lines? Yeah, so yeah. he's got only a white leading edge. Yeah. Uh, what about his adipose fin? See so, yeah, how he's got that orange on the adipose? So yeah. that's a very distinctive uh, ID feature for the brown trout. See how this guy has dark skin with light spots and this guy has light skin with dark spots. Okay. So this is the char species and this is a true trout. These are all the captured electroshocked fish back into the Tay River. Looking for some bull trout. None have been found so far but the Tay River, a tributary of the Clearwater, used to have some bull trout in it. All these willows that have been planted along the Tay River here have been installed by volunteers as well that will help the bank stabilization and that included lots of different groups including the Central Alberta chapter or Trout Unlimited and uh, they spent a Saturday out here under the leadership of Trout Unlimited Canada. Here we are at the 300 meter mark of the last sample of the Tay River project and uh, the guys are just at the marker and this is uh, the 40th sample, I believe, uh, in this area that the guys have taken and gals have taken from Trout Unlimited Canada and Sustainable Resources. And the guys are just getting ready to pack up.